Hey guys, so we're live today with uh, Mr. Bashir Ahmed from the uh, uh, Pakistan Fight Club. What's up, Bashir? What's up? Thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to me. Thank you for coming on and give us uh, giving us time. So talk to us about uh, Pakistan Fight Club, Bashir. What's been going on? What was going on here today? We saw a lot of good fights today. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's been well, going on. This is on. our second installment of uh, Pack Fight Club. Uh, and it's definitely by far the best one so far uh, in terms of the production and people enjoying themselves and definitely in terms of the fights. You know, it's been about two, two and a half years since uh, mixed martial arts was introduced to, uh, to Pakistan and the caliber of the fighters has gone up tremendously, tremendously. Okay, great. So how long have you been uh, uh, practicing MMA? Uh, I have been training in martial arts for a little over six years, about six and a half years. And what's your specialty? My specialty, I would would say is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, or at least I would like to think so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've also spent I spent two years in Thailand, so I have pretty good Muay Thai. So I'm pretty uh, pretty well rounded. Okay, that's that's good. So, what uh, are you part of a uh, of a club that are you training well, people? Well, what, are you, coach, what are you doing? I'm a coach at Synergy Mixed Martial Arts. Okay, uh, it's um, as you say, it's the first uh, MMA gym in Pakistan. Uh, of course, now we got uh, a whole bunch more. Uh, and I, I train myself, I train other guys. Uh, I'm a fighter for uh, One Fighting Championship, which is uh, Asia's largest promotion. It's where guys from uh, uh, from Pack Fight Club can work their way up through the 1FC network and potentially uh, get themselves also a contract uh, in One Fighting Championship. So what? Speaking of speaking of Fight Club mm -hmm. and all the fighters that were here, amazing fighters uh, with, with excellent talent, uh, what is the selection process? Well, what we try to do is we have a uh, tryouts for Pack Fight Club. Now, uh, because this is Pakistan, things don't always work out uh, as well. For example, tonight we had three guys that did not show up when they're supposed to. You know, they made a big fuss about how they're going to come and how you know great they are and how determined, but they didn't show up, and that is unfortunately uh, something that is a little too un uh, too common uh, in this country. Uh, anyway, so the selection process: t the best case scenario is you fight and try out, you do well, whether or not you, uh, you win or lose. You fight well, you uh, will get chosen to be uh, a fighter. Not necessarily on the next card, but maybe on an upcoming one. You get into our database. We also have uh, small uh, competitions independent of Pack Fight Club, like there's competitions in, in my club, there's competitions in Karachi, there's competitions in Islamabad. These are all run by individual uh, clubs, and they're independent of Pack Fight Club, but nonetheless, because of my organization, Mixed Martial Arts Pakistan, we have an eye on everything. So we get to see guys who uh, are doing well, and even if they haven't taken part in a tryout, because for a lot of these guys, they don't have too much money, coming to Lahore is a big expenditure, uh, we will still invite them. I was just about to ask you that actually, where is your funding coming from and in terms of, this is an independent organization yeah, yeah, so to speak and you guys are you guys are spending out on it. Pa pa and, yeah. So pa pa please explain that. Yeah. Pack Fight Club is a business that has its uh, <laughs> funding from its CEO, uh, Zan, uh, Zan Shop, who actually lives in San Francisco. So that's where, uh, so he's running this as his business, that's where all the funding is coming from. Uh, funding for the scene in uh, Pakistan, it's, it's coming out of my pocket and it's coming from uh, the gym in Lahore. You know, we uh, fees that I get from the guys training there, whether or not they're fighters, some guys are there for uh, fitness and whatnot, uh, that, that, that's what's running this. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people, I like to put this in because it's something I strongly believe in, a lot of people are like, you know, you should get the government involved and whatnot, but anybody who knows anything about the Pakistani government is that it's run by a bunch of stooges, pretty much, and I don't want anything uh, to do with them. Uh, and every single thing that they get involved with uh, goes to shit, pretty much, so I want to have nothing to do with them. Uh, so I don't understand, there's a big thing here about with martial arts and sports, we're like, well, get the government involved, you know, get links with the government. Uh, and all that ends up is corruption and failure. So I have no interest in that whatsoever. I think as commercial enterprise, as private citizens who want to work hard and have a vision, uh, this can do much better than the government could ever do. Absolutely. So what's, uh, what exciting things can we look forward to for uh, Fuck Fight Club? Are uh, you guys got anything coming up in Islamabad? When's the next fight? The, the, right now, oh, there's nothing definite, but the plan is, is that uh, the next one will be in Islamabad. So look forward to that in the in the summertime. Uh, otherwise, uh, internationally, I, I was talking. To you, I was, made this little comment on the web. Uh, I think uh, MMA, Pakistan, and Pak Fight Club, in a way, is bigger internationally than it is uh, within Pakistan. So expect more guys. Even if the crowds uh, don't fill up over here, expect more guys from here to compete internationally and for the scene. Uh, and I guess that, that may be how it go, uh, grows. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. Considering Thank considering the talent, considering the potential, considering the caliber that we have here, are you issuing any? Challenges, any official challenges to any international fighters? Um, 
I don't like, I like to do things slowly. And uh, there have been a lot of um, like gyms and uh, around the world who like to throw their guys out there and pretty much what happens is they end up getting embarrassed because uh, they don't have the infrastructure within their own country and they're fighting guys who are getting uh, trainers from overseas and got so much money getting pumped into it. And all it does is break people's morale. Uh, so I'm about doing this slowly. However, um, we have reached a level where I would, uh, you know, I think uh, guys in the Middle East and in, uh, in, the, in South Asia I'm not talking about guys who train overseas and, and you know, call themselves you know, fighters, but guys who are moving brought up within uh, their countries, uh, I think we're on, uh, on par with them. So you know, if anybody wants to challenge us, you know, I think we're pretty much ready. So uh, I'm down with that. You know. Pakistan's ready for, for all international challenges. Yeah, for all international challenges. At the same time, I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not going to put my guys in there with the UFC and be like, oh, you know, we're, we're so great, and then end up just getting embarrassed. Uh, I'm not dumb like that, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, if uh, there's a country with a new burgeoning MMA scene, we'll take them on, no problem. I can't uh, promise that, you know, we're going to win every single fight, but we're going to do a damn good job. Look out, world. Here comes Spock Fight Club. Right. Thank you, Bashir Ahmed. You guys are doing a tremendous job out here. Uh, thanks for coming out with us. And let us know, what's your favorite web TV channel? Uh, my favorite web TV channel is Mantis TV. Love it. Watch it all the time. And I think you guys uh, need to, well, you're watching. Just keep watching it, all right? Tell your friends about it, too. I mean, where else are you going to see Pack Fight Club except Mantis TV? All right, live, too. Awesome, thank you so much.